Namaste, hola, hello, hi everyone. Today I have something to, for you that you may find very interesting. Um, by the way, everything I post here on YouTube af appears in a post or blog format on my website, which is always linked in the description box below, as well as all the products that I mention. Today I'm going to talk about um, the blood and how electromagnetic fields coming from our computers, our cell phones, our devices, um, how our, the blood of our body itself is affected by these fields. For me, it's not really that much of a stretch when you consider that our blood is made of iron. And it's just like, hello, the iron filings on the magnet, right? As well as a few extra metals that don't actually even belong there. Right? So these fields that are um, being emitted by the devices, towers, etc., um, these are in the airwaves, and we are blood and flesh beings. So um, stay with me, and I'm going to take you through some pictures and explain um, a phenomenon known as the Rouleau effect and the symptoms of having blood that is in the Rouleau effect or the Rouleau formation. So do you ever wonder why you feel so crappy after sitting in front of your computer or other device for extended periods of time? Uh, perhaps you feel drained, uh, perhaps your eyes are burning, etc. Um, do you suffer from headaches, chronic inflammatory diseases, anxiety, insomnia, fatigue, or irritability? Well, it's not exactly normal, but yes, it can be argued that it is an, a normal response to living in a highly dysfunctional infrastructure. And no, you're not just, quote, getting old. Um, that's a line, it's really, they, they love to default to that one, the uh, mainstream medical. If you go in with a chronic condition, they love to pull the oh, you're just getting older line. Um, but here I want to argue that aging, like pregnancy, is not necessarily a medical condition. And there is the old adage, an ounce of prevention is worth a pound of cure, which is just as relevant today, if not more so. Um, one has to argue that health care, or rather self-care, is not a one-size-fits-all scenario, which is really the message that they're trying to put on us today. Um, but what's more true, in my personal opinion, if one is proactive and observes intelligent self-care habits, it is truly astonishing what can be accomplished in terms of healing, health maintenance, and even regeneration. And there are plenty of individuals alive today who are shining examples of that. So, sure, things may not run as smoothly as they did when we were 20, uh, but my point here being that it's not a one-size-fits-all, and self-care and preventative maintenance can play a significant role in determining our baseline health status as we age. So here I want to start looking at blood and um, sharing a few things about blood. And um, did you know that red blood cells account for 80% of the cells in the human body? And when you look at blood under a microscope, healthy blood cells are, um, each blood cell should be round, more or less round, and it should be independent. That is, it should not be stuck or adhered to its neighbor, particularly in stacks resembling coins or slinkies. And healthy red blood cells also have a negative charge on their outer membrane. Thus, they are not attracted or stuck to each other. So, why should you care what your blood looks like? Well, if you're feeling like crap, then um, there's chances are that your blood might look that way too. So I'm going to give you just some quick facts about blood or red blood cells. Um, they supply our tissues with oxygen is their number one function. They also remove waste products. 
since red, red blood cells or RBCs are the most abundant type of cell in the body, their health status will determine our health status. In other words, if you have healthy, well oxygenated, properly shaped and properly charged red blood cells, you will likely enjoy robust health and high natural immunity. Um, a few other facts, um, proper blood pH is 7.4. If your diet is very unhealthy or if you're exposed to a lot of uh, toxicity, whether it be in um, your diet or products that you use on your body or around the house, um, if you're just exposed to a lot of environmental pollutants, um, it will ac acidify your blood. And your body is very intelligent, so it will naturally compensate um, to maintain that 7.4 blood pH. And one of the ways it does that is by uh, withdrawing minerals from your bones. So we can understand here how important a healthy lifestyle is to just maintain our blood. Um, another thing that can happen is because of toxicity, pollutants, bad diet, the receptor sites on the cells can become blocked and that will um, influence your ability to absorb nutrients. Um, it is in our blood itself that dis-ease, and that is hyphenated, dis-ease begins and also where it can be remediated. Um, in the study by Magda Havas entitled Radiation from Wireless Technology Affects the Blood, the Heart, and the Autonomic Nervous System. And I will link this study in the description box below so you can read it yourself on PubMed. So Magda Havas proves and has documented the following. Exposure to electrosmog generated by electric, electronic, and wireless technology is accelerating to the point that many are experiencing adverse reactions, or EHS, which stands for electrohypersensitivity. Symptoms of EHS include rapid aging, low blood formation, heart palpitations accompanied by pain or pressure in the chest and anxiety, sympathetic nervous system upregulation and parasympathetic downregulation, in other words, fight or flight, chronic. Her study reveals that electrohypersensitivity is physiologic and not psychosomatic. That means it's an actual physiological phenomenon in your body. You're not just making it up in your head. However, long-term sufferers of EHS can develop psychological problems as a result of inability to work as well as social stigma. So to understand um, her study more clearly, you can watch her very brief but very clear YouTube video demonstration um, where she actually pricks her finger, puts it under a microscope, and she walks us through the whole process and um, shows us what her blood looks like before and after working on her computer. And then she talks on her phone and then she looks at it again. So that is a very interesting video. It's only two minutes long. It's linked below. A few other things I want to mention. Um, the capillaries. So the reason that this rouleau issue is such an issue is because our capillaries, which are the very smallest um, vessel in our circulatory system, they're very small and there are only four microns in diameter. The average red blood cell is seven to eight microns. So for capillary circulation to not only be optimal, but even happen, the uh, RBCs have to go through single file, that is one at a time, and they also need to be flexible. So if the blood is taken on a rouleau formation, it's not able to do that, and one can experience the following symptoms. Number one, fatigue, which is due to inefficient oxygen circulation. Number two, pain um, or inflammation, which is due to wastes not being removed well or fast enough. Number three, circulation problems, 
which can take a variety of manifestations. Number four, more colds and flus. And number five, pre-thrombotic blood. So what does that mean? A thrombosis, quite frankly, is a blood clot. So we don't really want our blood to be predisposed to that. So Further, it's been observed in experiments that were performed by a naturopathic doctor, Carolyn Mansfield. And she was looking at blood samples from herself as well as uh, patients who had taken a recent injection and was testing it with uh, a product that was designed to not only clean and sweep through the system to remove the pollutants, toxins, and heavy metals, but also to restore the natural charge um, and homeostasis and pH of healthy blood. And she had observed some rather unusual blood abnormalities in these patients. And not only unusual abnormalities, but changes that were indicative of the type of pre-thrombotic condition that we were discussing earlier. So by this time, you're probably thinking, um, oh my God, where's the good news? And I sit in front of my computer all day and, and I have headaches. And um, there is good news. There's excellent news um, because today I'm going to tell you about the product that Carolyn Mansfield was using um, in her experiments. And as I mentioned earlier, this product showed some extremely dramatic results in cleaning up this really strange looking blood. Um, and also some pretty spectacular images of her own blood after she had been taking the product herself for some time. And if you're interested in seeing those kind of super galactic pictures of her own blood, um, I really recommend that you follow up by visiting that link of the interview and panel discussion with her, which is linked below. And the product she was using is called Clean Slate. Clean Slate is a proprietary patent pending formula that can and will sweep through your system, cleaning up your blood at the nano level and even helping to restore the natural structure and negative charge of your blood. Clean Slate is made of zeolite and clinitolite crystals, which are on the nano scale. And one reason that people are actively looking for things that will detox them on the nano scale is due to this picture I'm showing you here. Um, this is a photo from other research that was done in New Zealand where these very strange devices were actually discovered in patients who had uh, taken that injection. The clean slate benefits are reduction of inflammation, detoxification of metals and pollutants, and it will function to increase cellular nutrient absorption because it, is, because it is removing wastes from the cell receptor sites. So aside from a healthy lifestyle and using the clean slate to um, rebalance our blood, there are other remedial actions that we can take, remedial measures, to make the world that we live in a little bit more, um, let us say, friendly to humans. Um, I myself use Organite a lot. Um, I have it on my phone, I have it on my computer, um, I wear a pendant, and I will link these in the description box below. And if you do choose to purchase some Clean Slate, you'll need to enter a referral code to check out. The company is a referral only company and it's designed that you can refer your friends. So, so my referral code is 12D. So I'm personally very impressed with the company. I'm impressed with their vision, with their mission of helping people regain their health sovereignty. And I really do recommend watching the interview with Dr. Carolyn Mansfield, as well as the Magda Havas uh, live demonstration of her blood analysis. So thank you so much again. I wish you health, happiness, and freedom on all levels. Namaste.